Thank you for watching videos by Jeff Sebelius. In this episode, I'll continue a series of videos to help you fly the unique Typhoon H with an explanation of the calibrations for your accelerometer, gimbal, and compass. This episode is part of a series of videos designed to help you fly safely and successfully with your Typhoon H. This episode applies to the Typhoon H and the Typhoon H Pro. Let's get started with Typhoon H calibrations. You should calibrate your accelerometer before your first flight and each time you update your firmware. You should also calibrate the accelerometer if you notice the aircraft drifting or circling as you hover. Here's how you calibrate the accelerometer. Find a place where the aircraft is on a level surface. You can perform this calibration indoors without GPS connection, but the surface should be level. Remove the gimbal lock on your gimbal. Insert your battery, then boot up the transmitter and then the aircraft. Once those two are connected, from your transmitter click on Settings slash Calibration. Calibration and Accelerometer. The accelerometer calibration will run for the next 30 seconds or so. When finished, you'll hear a tone and then the aircraft will reboot. The calibration of your accelerometer is complete. After your accelerometer calibration, you might as well calibrate your gimbal. You would also calibrate your gimbal if you notice that your video's horizon is not level. The process to calibrate your gimbal is almost the same as your accelerometer. You can perform this calibration indoors without GPS connection, but the surface must be level. Remove the gimbal lock on your gimbal. As before, Unique recommends that you use a fully charged battery. You can use the same battery that powered your accelerometer calibration if you started that process with a full charge. Insert your battery, then boot up the transmitter and aircraft. Once those two are connected, from your transmitter click on settings slash calibration calibration, and gimbal. A warning message appears, go ahead and hit OK. The gimbal calibration will run for the next two minutes. You'll see the camera rotating around during the calibration. When finished, the gimbal will stop moving. This is your only sign that the calibration is complete. The final calibration is the compass calibration. You should calibrate your compass before your first flight. When you update your firmware, if you notice that your controls aren't accurate, or if you travel a significant distance from the last place where you calibrated your compass. What does significant distance mean? Well, no one has really come up with a definitive answer on that. I've traveled 150 miles and flown without calibrating and it worked fine. There is no reason why you wouldn't calibrate your compass. When in doubt, do it. This calibration must be done outdoors with satellite connection. A convenient place to do it is at the location where you plan to fly. Insert your battery and set up your aircraft. It's easier to do this calibration without your props installed. Find a location that's 20 feet or more away from signal interference. I found that the Typhoon H is more sensitive than the Q500 in this regard. Find a place that is away from metal sources of interference, like light poles or garbage cans. Even rebar and concrete can disrupt the calibration. An open field like this works very well. Remove your gimbal cover, then boot up your transmitter and your aircraft. Use a compass to find magnetic north, then point the aircraft in that direction. Now, put your phone at least 20 feet away from the aircraft. On your transmitter, click Settings slash Calibration, Calibration, and then choose Compass. Set down your transmitter at least 20 feet from the aircraft. The indicator lights on two motor pods will blink. Lift the aircraft by the arms of those two motor pods, with the nose pointed to the north. Rotate the aircraft forward until the blinking indicator lights change to the motor pods to their left. 
spin the aircraft to the left so the blinking motor pods are perpendicular to you, pointing to the north. Rotate the aircraft until the blinking lights change again. Spin the aircraft to the left again and repeat this process. The goal is to spin the aircraft to the left and rotate each time the blinking lights change. Try to rotate the aircraft smoothly to reduce the motion's effect on your gimbal. Once you've completed these steps, the aircraft will give you an audible message. Set the aircraft down and let it reboot. Here's another look at the compass calibration. From this view, you can see how the motor pod lights change during the process. You have approximately 30 seconds to complete the calibration. The compass calibration is complete. This completes your calibrations. With the accelerometer, gimbal, and compass calibrations done, your aircraft should hold its position in flight accurately and the gimbal should be level to the horizon. If you notice any problems, you can repeat any or all of these calibrations. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. More videos like this one are in the works. Want to see more? Click the link on screen for a playlist of Typhoon H tutorial videos. Your comments and feedback in the comments section below are greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.